You're watching the Football Radio Show. We're not the suits that talk football. We're the dudes that know football. Here's your hosts, Casey and Dave. Hello and welcome to 3 and Out, where we take a look at three of the most compelling games from the upcoming week. Dave, it's already week eight, bro. Dude, it is slipping away. Indeed. Well, lucky for us, we got some kick-ass football coming yeah. up, baby. Number get us going. All right, we'll get it started with the Houston Texans at the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks at home, favored by five and a half. Yeah, Deshaun Watson may be the best story in the NFL this year. No doubt. Maybe the Michael Jordan of football. This guy keeps passing every test, but guess what? He's got the biggest one so far. Got to go to Seattle, yep. face the LOB. That's not an easy place to nope. play. Good <laughs> luck with that, Deshaun. It is going to be rocking there, dude. Yeah, nice home field advantage for the Seahawks. Obviously, strong defense at home in particular. But this is the other side of the football that concerns me for the Seahawks team. The offensive line has been struggling. It seems like it's Russell Wilson versus the world. Mm -hmm. They're trying to figure out this running back position. A handful of different dudes uh, working through there that have a lot of potential. And he's got some good weapons there with Jimmy Graham and Baldwin. And, uh, you know, these guys may be underappreciated, but... They need a little more consistency Jimmy, from I that ground game hands off. Yeah. To, go, to go with it. Yeah, don't get Russell killed. Number All right, two. up next, Sunday Night Football. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Detroit Lions, and the Steelers are three-point favorites on the road. Yeah, pretty surprising, but the way the Steelers are playing right now with Le'Veon Bell really finding his rhythm after a slow start to this season. Big Ben, I guess he's contemplated retirement. He's going to stay, oh, yeah. so that's good news. At least through week eight. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side of the football for the Steelers, Really putting together some good defensive performances, in particular getting after Andy Dalton last week, really making it difficult. The Steelers are peaking defensively right now. Yeah, and that might be bad news for Matt Stafford because he's already been hit and sacked a ton this year. Yep. The Lions got to figure that out if this dude is going to make it through the season. Bye week coming at a good time for the Lions. Golden Tate yeah. got that gimpy arm. We'll see what his status is moving forward. But the Lions this year doing it with the run game and playing defense. Yeah. That's a new formula for them. We're going to see if that works next <laughs> Sunday it's night. A formula that seems to work. <laughs> it's a tasty formula. <laughs> Number one. All right. Moving it along to Monday Night Football. And it is an AFC West showdown of epic proportions, dude. As the Denver Broncos cruise to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Chiefs at home favored by seven. Woo. Yeah, this is a super important game for both of these teams. Mm -hmm. The Broncos, dude, have lost two in a row two weeks ago. They uh, scored ten points against the Giants last week against our Los Angeles Chargers. No points. And this was an offense that was really kicking. Couldn't get the run game going. Yeah. They really miss Manny Sanders in the past game. They got a lot of stuff to figure it out, and they better do it quick, dude. Yeah, because this Chiefs team, uh, they are hungry now. After starting the season 5-0, and they have dropped two in a row, and they got to right the ship before it's too late. They've got all the weapons in the world to do it. That defense at home in Kansas City where there's a lot of red, so much they red. love to get after the quarterback, and they're going to love getting after Trevor Simeon like the Chargers were able to do last week uh, and really take away that Denver offense and the the weapons for the Chiefs that they have the explosiveness that's all there they just they just fumbled away the opportunity to win those last two games they got to get right the ship this week oh man this game is gonna rock we want to know what games are stoking you guys out subscribe to the football radio show YouTube yeah. channel and comment below he's Dave I'm Casey we're out of here <laughs>